you already know what it is it's your boy laid back welcome back to my channel hey we back with another scary reaction instead of going live i decided to bring it back to the old school i actually watched the video myself and put out a video it's actually halloween so you know welcome but you make it to the end of this one you a real one man make sure you put that in the comments this october has been different this year very busy for me so that's why i haven't been doing lives and too many videos this month so my apologies in advance but it's been an extremely busy month for me um but we here you know what i mean so if you made it here make sure you hit the like button for sure make sure you drop where you from we got 10 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera this is another nukes top five this is a classic old way of doing these videos let's see what we get fire squad what's popping let's get it let's see what we got shereen louise a single mother of a three-year-old daughter has recently moved into an old victorian house in cardiff england soon after moving in shereen's daughter little ilea begins to complain about a man with a quote bad head and bad eyes who marches through the here we go you know i don't like when you mess with children and when you mess with animals it's hard to fake that stuff let's go upstairs hallway what is it bad eyes bad eyes yeah bad eyes bad eyes yeah where guys mm. upstairs nope no we're not doing this shireen decides to take a look into the history of the old house and discovers that it was built on an ancient battleground from all the way back in 1485. Dang. The worried mother now believes that her daughter might be seeing the spirit of a soldier who fought in battle. Shereen installs a security camera in the hallway just to see what's going on. Here we go. Then one night after dark, this happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> what the hell? Explain. can be heard loud enough that they are picked up by the hallway security camera. What? <laughs> Shortly after this, little Ilea once again complains about the man with the quote, bad head and two eyes. Shireen says that originally she completely fell in love with the charming Victorian home but now has second thoughts about staying. She, she says out. she's worried about the safety of her daughter. She so is out. little three-year-old Ilea seeing something that we just can't? You decide, Graveyard. Mm -mm. This next video was posted to the internet by an account that is devoted to sharing videos of large boats and seafaring vessels. 
In one video, we see a graveyard of old cruise ships that have been run aground and left abandoned on a beach somewhere in Turkey. But there's something else. That's wild. Something that a sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted in the video. Just Watch there. closely. Did you see it? Yes. On board the rusting old cruise ship on the right, someone or something can be seen walking around inside. Hell no. Nah. Even though the ship is completely abandoned, no one is on board and there's not even any access to get on the ship. So could this mysterious figure be the ghost of someone who didn't survive their voyage? Mm. Let me know what you think. That's crazy. The Night Visitor. That is crazy. A woman named Shay works as an overnight office cleaner at a mid-sized company in Indiana. Shay says that she often works alone in the large office building and that this can sometimes get just a little bit creepy. But this one particular night, things are about to get absolutely terrifying. Yo, okay, so Tim while I'm at work and I was about to take out the trash and I just got a text from um the lady who um the lady who works here. And she said, like, hey, Shay, just want to let you know that everyone has left, so um, you can go vacuum the other side. I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. And she said, just me there? No, I asked her, I said, just me there? She's like, yes. Y'all, I'm scared as f Because when I went outside, there are no cars out there besides my work van. Mm. And I'm so scared. She sound like she shook. So tell me why. If I'm the only The hoodie ain't came up all year either. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the hoodie ain't came up all year. That's almost a year. One month left. One month left. One here. Who the f is this? Let me back up. Like, Who was what? Who the f is that? Like, hello? Um, Y'all, I'm not tripping. That's somebody in that f room and they just sitting there. In what room? Which one? The right or the left? Who the f is that? Like, they just sitting there. Bro, I'm about to fucking call because I'm like, <laughs> which, and I just call her and say, hey, you sure I'm the only one here? She's like, yeah, look at the cameras. You're the only one there. I'm seeing about the cars there. And I said, someone is in one of the booths. And she was like, she went in, in the there booths. And the I was door. like, yeah, someone is in one of the booths. What the, what the, what the, she went in there and closed the door. Y'all ain't no lock on this fucking door. Oh, now nah, you tripping. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna tough it up and just open the door. Crap. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. The door is open? Nope. Nope. Oh, nah. Hell nah, cuz. Uh-uh, nope. Shay is supposed to be all alone in the building, but someone or something seems to be sitting in a chair pressed right up against the glass door at the end of the hall. What? They're not moving, and they're not reacting. Shay hides in the closet, gathers her courage, and then heads out to confront the person. But there's no one there. Mm -mm. With that, Shay has had about enough. Absolutely. She calls her supervisor to come check out the office building for an intruder, or whatever this is. And Shay takes the back stairs and exits the building. But here is where it gets really oh, weird. Nah. Because Shay's supervisor comes and checks out the entire building and finds no one there. Also, her supervisor reviews the security camera footage that monitors anyone entering or leaving the building. And whoever this person was, they never left. This person never showed up on any of the building's security cameras. That gave me chills. That gave me chills. The person never left and they never showed up on any. Huh? We need scary videos. So if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Off the wall. 
In an email sent to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Ricardo, he told me about a trip he and his brother took to the historic Fort of San Felipe in Bacalar, Mexico. On the trip, Ricardo filmed a video with his old Nokia potato phone, and he and his brother can be seen exploring the massive old 1700s fortress. They accidentally catch something that they just can't explain. On the old Nokia. Mira la reparación moderna. They repaired this. Ah, sí. I'll be looking hard to see what's going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. They didn't see that. Did you see it? What the fuck? In a dangerous section of the historic fortress that's closed off the tourists, a strange brown figure can be seen on the grass and seemingly climbing or floating right over the wall. Oh, what? Now, I have carefully inspected this clip. I've slowed it down and I've even sharpened and enhanced the potato quality as much as I could. I like a jelly but I still have no idea what this is. So, I leave it up to you. It's a jellyfish. The Royal Arcade. Nuke's Top 5 viewer and paranormal investigator Emma from the YouTube channel Twinvestigate UK reached out to us about a creepy video they captured while investigating the Royal Arcade in Keefley, West Yorkshire, England. Okay. The Royal Arcade is an historic underground shopping center built in 1901. The upper floors of the Royal Arcade were eventually renovated. However, the dingy old underground stores and rooms wow. were left untouched. These buildings with their dark history still look almost exactly the same as they did in the early 1900s. Mm. Emma says that she and her group were doing a spirit box session in what was once the shop of a horse saddler. In this area, the spirit of a grumpy old man named Billy is said to wander around. Mm. What happens next is truly creepy. Make that bang again. Why do you want us to stop? This is so weird. Emma and her group are shocked to see what looks like a figure moving through a lens flare caught oh. on their phone. The investigators try to recreate and even debunk what they captured, but they just can't reproduce this strange silhouette of a person moving. Mm. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. I look crazy. A dark park in the San Pedro Mall. Security guard Johann Zimmel is working the night shift at the San Pedro Mall in. If you with me, draw which one in the comments, and don't forget that. San Jose, Costa Rica, when he spots something truly chilling. So it's crowded. Somebody walking. A security camera pointed at the mall's parking structure captures the moment a dark, shifty silhouette of a person can be seen approaching an unsuspecting man. The man turns around as if he hears or feels something, but no one's there. That's crazy. And the weird figure seems to have just disappeared into thin air. After the security footage was released online, many former employees of the mall came forward to share their own personal paranormal experiences oh. from their days working there. Wow. Many of these former workers claim that the mall is haunted after someone passed away on the fourth floor of the mm. parking structure. Mm -mm -mm. Lights out. One afternoon, Rachel Navarro is home alone in her New York City apartment. Due to maintenance issues, the power in her building has temporarily been shut off. Hell and this nah. is when things just start to get really weird. Okay, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just watching something, but literally... Hold on. There's no electricity in our place right now, okay? I turned it off, okay, but I swear... Time. Shite. Okay, this door 
What? Jesus has been doing this literally all day. And look, that's shite. Oh my god. Man. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Look like someone's Hello? there, right? I don't see nothing. Hold on, hold on. I'm going out there. Oh, she a G. She ain't scared of nothing. Man, it's dark as hell. Did she open it? Light. Oh, I turned the flash on because I couldn't see right out there. I got my big mace. Oh, she got her mace. Okay. I swear. She Wait, is Jesus. not playing. Jesus. That door sounds oh like somebody was growling. So it's dark down the whole hallway and somebody just banging on her okay, door. This door always moves because of the wind. I'm not really Damn. worried about that. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Get your ass. Oh, she. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she locked out of her no, house. No, no, no. Lock that? Out? No, no. Rachel's front door is shaking on its own, and when she looks through the peephole, something can be seen moving around on mm -hmm. the other side. No. She grabs her pepper spray and opens the door, but no one there. She is Just her soldier. creepy, pitch black hallway. Then Rachel hears what sounds like someone breathing and whispering in the hallway. Oh sh! Oh sh! Jesus! Understandably, she turns around and heads right back inside. As a Nuke Stop Five viewer, Rachel decided to email us about her creepy experience. To this day, she still has no idea what was going on in her hall. No vacancy. This next creepy video was recorded at a small hotel in the desolate countryside of Mexico. Now for years, the staff working at the hotel have witnessed and experienced unexplainable activity, usually when they're all alone. Mm -hmm. One day, a housekeeper notices someone standing at the window of hotel room number 30, even though the room should be vacant and completely empty. The housekeeper immediately notifies the hotel manager, but they find no evidence of anyone inside mm. that empty room. Mm. That is, until later that same day. Aquí más cerquita. Aquí más cerquita. Si sí, miren, ahí Whoa. se ve, se alcanza oh, a ver nah. una cara. Hell no, nah. I ain't ojos. looking at that. I ain't Vamos looking at that. I'm not looking at that. Vamos a ver a esa habitación. I'm not looking at this. She going up there? No way. No Vamos way. Vamos a subir las escaleras porque este, desde ahí es donde estábamos viendo que se veía. Aquí ya no se ve nada. A lo mejor por el reflejo de la luz. Y vamos a ver en la habitación. Aquí está la cama porque esta es una habitación pequeña. Aquí pues no se ve nada. She is not y aquí está la tele donde está donde estábamos. Donde se supone que se veía, pero no se ve nada. No entiendo qué. Oh. ¿Por qué se ve? ¡Ah! ¡Ay! Oh. As the manager approaches the hotel room, a pale face with hollow eyes can be seen peering down at her oh, through no. the hotel window. The manager hurries upstairs and into the room, but she discovers that the face, or whatever it was, has disappeared. But then something moves, making a loud sound and sending the frightened woman rushing right out of the room. Hell no. Now the hotel staff believes that they have caught evidence that their small hotel in Mexico is haunted. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Hell you no. decide. You decide. No. In a flash. No. There's a lightning storm just outside Amanda Knowles' house in Iowa. She looks out her front window and notices something truly bizarre please tell me y'all see this just watch watch straight out into that yard look you see it look see what 
and it happens again. Look. 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 See? See? What the and fuck? Is that a shadow? I'm telling you right now, ignore my dogs. But look, man, I think it's time to move. A strange white figure can be seen standing in the grass across the street from where Amanda lives. But whoever or whatever this is, it appears and then just Hell disappears uh. as the storm rages on. Some viewers of Amanda's creepy video wonder if the electrical energy in the air could have somehow helped make a paranormal presence visible. Hmm. But whatever this is, Amanda says she is spooked. The old Baraboo Inn. Paranormal Inve We made it to number one. We made it to number one. Hit that like button if you haven't hit it already, man. And drop with you in the comments, man. Let's go. Investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted old Baraboo Inn located in the scenic city of Baraboo, Wisconsin. The inn was built in 1864 and functioned as a tavern and a brothel. Over the years, the seedy inn became a regular hangout for many underworld figures like Al Capone and other notorious gangland criminals. Over the years, it is said that many people fell victim to the inn's sinister clientele and many men and even women have lost their lives here. Mm. Today, the old Baraboo Inn is said to be extremely haunted, especially in the basement where it is said that many men were chained to a pole and executed by the mob. What? That pole still stands today, a remnant of the building's horrific past. Whoa. So, investigator Ian decides to spend a night at the inn, planning to investigate all the paranormal claims. Mm. It's still early into the night and Ian is exploring the Baraboo Inn's bar area when things start to get a little spooky. Are there any spirits? Myself. Hanging out at this bar tonight? Yeah, I heard this so... place is supposed to be really haunted. Could you show me what they're talking about? The stories of strange things happening? I'd like to see it for myself. Is there anybody here that could do that for me? That sound came from over there. That scared me. Already. Hello? Hello. If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm hearing all kinds of weird sounds in here. Oh, yeah. Ian continues his investigation and heads into the inn's kitchen. But what happens next is truly bizarre. If there's anyone in here, could you show yourself? What the f was that? What is that loud ass noise? Hello? Oh my god, something just got thrown. What oh. the hell was that? Look at that. What the f is that? Oh my god, that's like a spoon. <laughs> it's on the floor. It's on the floor. Like, how is that even possible? I don't know. He should. I don't know how to explain any of he this. Should. Everything that is happening to me right now is far beyond what I was expecting from this place. Ian is freaked. Out, yes. as kitchen utensils can be heard moving on their own and a ladle is thrown onto the floor but the worst is still yet Ooh. to come because next Ian heads down into the basement Ooh. the most actively haunted area of the old oh, hell no. he going into the basement baraboo in this is the room uh -uh. Oh god, there it is. You see that? That is the pole. Wow. The execution pole. Mm. If the mobsters took you in this room, you knew you were done for. Just imagine what would be going through those victims' minds. Hell no. Nah. 
as they're being dragged into this room and placed here. And if you look closely here, you can see all the different bullet holes. Ooh. You see that? There's a bullet hole right there. Damn. Right there. Damn. Right there. They're just all over Jeez. this pole. And those are blood stains seeping through the paint. Mm. This is crazy. It's super tense in here. He looks shook. His eyes wide open. Unexplained dragon. It sounds like somebody's down here with me. Who's out there? Uh -uh. Oh God, holy shit. I don't know how much more of this I can take. He going in there? He's coming from this room. Again. He a soldier though. The pole room. Oh, I thought he was already in there. I can hear you over there. Ooh -wee. I know you're down here. I don't think it's the same spirit at all. Kind of getting that heavy, bad feeling again. Mm -mm. If you're one of the mobsters, Hell. make another sound. Oh, oh, oh God. Jeez. This is the last spirit I want to encounter right now. Could you do it again a little louder? Wow. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. That was a black mass. Okay, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. But it's a freaking dead end over here. I can't oh. get out this way. Ian is terrified as he sees a dark shadow-like figure move near the infamous execution pole in the basement. He's able to calm himself down enough to follow the dark figure, but he finds nothing and no one to explain what he just saw. He wow. Soon after this creepy event, Ian decides that he's had about enough and he just heads home. You can see this full investigation with many more scary moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Hell Ghost God. Hunter. All right, that's 10 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. Whoa, this one was crazy all new footage i haven't seen any of these videos before but this one gave me chills i can't even lie the hoodie didn't come up the hoodie didn't come up if you made it this far make sure you drop real one in the comments don't forget that drop real one it is halloween uh but yeah that one was that one was uh interesting but you know i'm undefeated I'm undefeated this year. The hoodie ain't came up not one time, man. You already know what you gotta do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Take care of yourself, be safe out there. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it.